Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faith. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my signature look, the high puff. This is always my go-to for whenever I feel like my wash and go style is getting a little rusty or I just want to spice things up. Hope you guys enjoy. The materials that I use for this look is the Wetline Extreme Styling Gel, a hard bristle brush, use for your edges and make sure your hair is laid down straight and to tie down my thick 4a 4b hair i use a shoelace yes a shoelace you guys will see how i work in a minute my cute little edge brush i got it from the beauty supply store it was so cute and attached to it has a little rat comb piece where you can part your hair now y'all can't forget about the edge control this edge controls by even and it lays my hair down Last but not least, I am using my spray bottle to loosen up my hair from the wash and go and make it more manageable. Okay y'all, to start off, I will just be spraying the perimeter of my hair and making sure it loosens up so I will be able to put a little gel and slick it up into a high puff. You do not, I repeat, you do not need to wet your whole head. You will mess up the curl pattern from your wash and go and your puff will be really limp. <laughs> Don't do that sis. Now that all that is saturated, I am going to start manipulating my hair up in the high puff direction. Ooh, that's a cute style. Psych, I'm doing a high puff today. Start brushing it up, take your time, don't rip out your edges. If you need to, you can add some more water. Just don't OD, okay? Now that I finally smooth out all the kinks and curls around my edges, I will be adding the Wetline Extreme Gel only around the perimeter of my hair. You don't need the other extra little one, two, no sis. Just get your edges, make sure it's sleek, and that's a done deal. That's that on that. Now you guys will go back in with the brush. Now that you guys have gel molding it even more, it's just a whole lot of brushing like honestly because you just had a wash and go and now you're trying to brush it up it's kind of a little a lot of manipulating okay right here y'all this is where i'm breaking out the shoelace you guys are gonna have to pay really close attention i flip my head over push all my curls you know towards the ground get the tie put it around my head make a little you know like you're about to tie your shoe just not all the way then i slide it up until I get the size that I want. You're gonna have to do a lot of manipulating, making sure it's, you know, fitted how you want it, but the end result, I love it. So I ended up having to get a bobby pin to make sure it stays, but I usually tie it, but I guess my hair grew and I had no clue about it. But yeah, if you need a bobby pin, make sure you get a bobby pin, but if you could tie it, you can do that also. Child, that was a workout. Okay, lovely. So right here, you can make sure it's fitted, fluffed up. You can get a pick. I prefer just to use my hands and see what shape you want. Make it your own. And the last step in this process is laying my edges. Y'all, I don't even feel sane if I don't do my edges. It's just, it's just a part of me.
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a high puff tutorial, okay? So guys, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit both that notification bell and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. See y'all later.